everyone, and welcome to the WNBA on 2K Sports. And on tap tonight, it's the Washington Mystics going up against the New York Liberty. Along with Tim Schwartz and Brian Benefitemi, I'm Blake Suniga, and we're happy to have you along for another great game. Dip-off goes to Washington. And both of these teams love to push it. Tim, what are some things that all great fast break teams have in common? Great defense. That's the first thing. You have to force turnovers. You also have to pass the ball well. Get it up the court. Obviously, it doesn't hurt to have some fast players, too. And just as important is knowing when to run. You know, pushing it is great, sure. But doing it in the wrong situation can lead to turnovers. And doing it too fast can turn it over, too. Now here's Boyd. Outside Charles. Right, defended by Atkins. Clock at six. Go, look at the clock. Right outside. Over Atkins. Right, no good. And just about a minute into this first quarter. Pass to Walker Kimbrough. Misamon. Deladon with it. Now Zowie B defending. Up again. Allen with the rebound. Right wing. Now here's Boyd. Defense right on her. And plenty of contact on the shot, so the two free throws coming up. And there's the whistle. Foul on the Washington Mystics. This is her first opportunity at the line this evening. Shooting two. And she knocks down the first one. Well, you look over the history for the Mystics, not a lot of uh, high moments for the team, a lot of struggles over the years, and they're still looking for their first title. Both good at the line. And you can feel the pressure on this team to get that first banner. Yeah, they've made the moves they've needed to try for one. And getting Deladon was a huge step in that direction. But this franchise, you know, it, it might seem snake bitten, but you feel that they're on the verge of something big. Now here's Miesmann. Let's the three fly. Another miss by Washington. Here's Allen. He's covered by Tolliver. To the middle. Here's Charles. And she lays it straight in. Tough make. You don't end up making over 2,000 baskets like Charles without some hard ones. And they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. they got to score. Walker Kimbrough, and that one goes long. Well, she rushed that one. The D was out of position, but she couldn't make him pay. Boyd. Second shot opportunity, and it's good on the layup. She was the first one to react to that miss. I mean, that's just a hustle play on the putback. The Mystics trailing. Outside Tolliver. Pass to Walker Kimbrough. Here's Misamon. Della Don left side. Shoots over Zowie B. Offensive rebound. A basket counts and one. She'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play.
think Emma Miesemann was born with a basketball in her hands. Growing up in Belgium, she was immersed in the game. And stolen by Atkins. Pass to Walker Kimbrough. Atkins. Now Miesemann. Here's Walker Kimbrough, covered by Zowie B. Two on the clock. Here's Della Don. Tries again. Oh. And so she draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. It's going to be on Amanda Zowie B. Defenders get anxious against prolific scorers like Misaman, and I think it's really because she doesn't let opponents take a single playoff. one drops and Misaman has done her mother and country proud a great player for her national team well Emma was huge in helping Belgium qualify for their first ever major international tournament the 2018 World Championships ended up being an incredible uh, success for Belgium making it all the way to the semis and so she makes both from the line yeah, second round pick in the 2013 WNBA draft. Misaman is what we call around the league a diamond in the rough. Zowie B with it. Now Atkins defending. Charles in the post. Teladon's there. And the shot count. She's fouled. That's a chance for a three-point play. And that sends Tina Charles to the free throw line. That's on Elena Della Don. Some players rise to high expectations, and Tina Charles is certainly one of them. After being selected first overall in 2010, Charles was the Rookie of the Year with Connecticut. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. And the free throw, no good. And remember, that rookie season for Charles was historic. One of the best postseasons ever. How about this number, Blake? Charles set the record for rebounds in a season during that rookie year, making a statement. She'll be a force in the WNBA for years to come. Now here's Boyd. Pass to right. That's how we be with it. Shoots over Misaman. Puts the fade away right on the money. Nice work. They got the most out of that possession. The Mystics on offense. They trail by three. Here's Walker Kimbrough. And here is Misaman. Deladon outside. Another shot. And she sinks the layup. Cleaning up. Elena Deladon is a smooth scorer who isn't afraid of some dirty work. Pass to Boyd. Charles. And here is Wright. Deladon covering. Now here's Zowie B. Shoots over Misaman. The fadeaway J off the mark. Here's the break. Side Tolliver. Pass to Walker Kimbrough. Tries a three. He can't get it to go. And New York will come the other way. Right side Boyd. Guns up empty down low. There was just enough defensive pressure to get her off balance. That one's good, Atkins. Yeah, I've heard some say that Atkins has arrived ahead of schedule in this league. And I would say that her refined and radiant mentality is 
pretty rare for players her age. Here's Allen. She hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Back to Charles. Over Tolliver. They get it back. Zowie B gets the bucket. Very high quality shot. Can't get enough of those. Time I'm called time here. Out. The Mystics decide to talk it over. Coming down Order. the final stretch, some teams have fallen out of contention. Uh, Brian, it must be hard for them to stay engaged. Kind of like you are during our broadcast, Blake. But look, at the end of the day, these are the best basketball players. So you got to stay focused throughout the course of the season. Basically because you're paid to do so, you know? But there's such an interesting aspect of WNBA basketball because this is truly a global game that sees so many of its players playing overseas after the season. I agree, Brian. Sometimes I look over and wonder if Blake is away. But so, on that uh, individual level, you might be trying to impress your next team, be it in the WNBA or globally. From a team perspective, let's see who keeps playing. Let's see how the, the younger players play. Let's see who we want to resign, who we want to trade. It can be so helpful to front offices. Side Tolliver. Hawkins outside. Outside Tolliver. Just four to shoot. Back to Cloud. Here's the three. Rebound New York. Now Hartley. And she drops in the layup off the glass. I like the recognition that we're seeing from Boyd, and she kind of makes it effortless the way she locates her open teammates. Now here's Tolliver, poked away, stolen by Hartley. Oh, and the fast break for the Liberty. Boyd with it, guarded now by Tolliver. Boyd can't get it to go. Well, offensively speaking, it has been a tough, tough quarter for her. Here's Hawkins, and another miss by Washington. Hartley score the basket. Her second of two attempts. That's how to orchestrate for your teammate. Terrific pass. Pass to Misaman. Up top, Cloud. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get it off in time. <laughs> New York leading. Hartley outside. Side Boyd. Pass to Sue. Lays it up and in off the nice reverse. Hey, look, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting in the paint and they keep scoring points. And you know, Brian, there's not really a lot you can do as a defense when they keep getting in the paint like they have been on this run. Now here's Cloud. Wyatt so far offensively searching for first points of the game. Just five to shoot. Here's Leslie. Shot to end the cold run. And she lays it up and in. A smart player. It's the threat of Leslie's jumper that can open things up for her inside. She understands that and takes full advantage. Liberty uh, having some issues as a team recently. Finishing near the bottom of the league, and clearly they just can't seem to build around the uh, all-world player, Tina Charles. Now here's Hartley. The three ball. Tiana Hawkins with some nice D. 
some tough offensive sets, and they really want to turn it around. They got to lock in and need a basket just to regain some momentum. Well, coaches just love players who they can count on to always work defensively. And she's one of those players, right? I mean, we saw it right there. Just a great job of forcing that miss. Pass to Heinz Allen. Hawkins, gray defending. Loud inside. Here's Sanders. First shot, first basket. She is out of the blocks fast. You know, offensive rebounding percentage. Sanders has uh, led the league a couple of times in this new age stack. And there's another O board plus the points. Here's Boyd. That one misses. Would have counted had it gone. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Liberty out in front. They lead by three. Stay with us as we get set to bring you quarter number two after this. back to the second quarter and taking a look at the Liberty performance here guys what are your thoughts simple defense 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 so far and they have really clamped up say it one more time Tim defense defense every shooter that challenges their defense has had a hand in their face here's New York now three-point lead Gray has to sue now here's Gray. She's covered by Cloud. Here's Sue. Shot clock at six. Ripped away. Here's the break. Here's Hines Allen. So she gets the whistle. Contact on the way up. Two shots next. It goes on Brittany Boyd. <laughs> both free throws and the mystics are another team that prefers to do their work from outside now elena deladon leads the way but they have a handful of great shooters most notably christy tolliver who can carry the shooting load for the team now here's boyd And Hawkins pulls it down. The Mystics trailing. And with Washington, they shoot from outside, but still don't push the pace. Yeah, Blake, the Mystics are a team that will look for the most efficient shot. Doesn't mean they want to get up and down the floor. Where does he a slow paced team take a lot of threes? Just over a minute has passed here in the second quarter. Hartley outside. Sue, defended by Sanders. Good on the bucket. Bless was incredible height. Born to dominate around the basket. Now here's Cloud. She's guarded by Hartley. Pass to Heinz Allen. Cloud inside. Shot clock at five. Shoots over Hartley. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. Now here's Boyd. Not a lot of room. The Mystics pull it in. She just has not gotten into the flow of this game. But yeah, her teammates have certainly done their part today. But she just hasn't gotten into the flow of this game. And it's, uh, it's been tough to see. Now here's Cloud. 
She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Parked down low that three. time and got hit with the three-second call. So both teams changing it up here. And so it's New York with it. They've only given up two points this quarter. Hartley outside. Zowie B. Good. And the assist goes to Bria Hartley. So that pick, it worked like a charm. Nice job taking it right to the tin for the layup. Wow, inside. Here in quarter two, we played a little over two and a half minutes now. Offline with the three. Here you watch her, and you see her mechanics are totally out of whack right now. She's lost all feel for her shot. Yeah, and it's not hard to tell. You know, just look at her numbers right now. Nothing is going down for her. Now here's Wright. Six on the shot clock. Misses the three. The Mystics on offense. It's a five-point game. Here's Leslie. Steps back and drains the J. Now that was pretty. A beautiful move to set up the jump shot. Hartley outside. Pass to Gray. Back to Hartley. The tray. And it's going to be a 24 second violation. They'll turn it over. Here's Tolliver, looking for her first basket still in this one. And the layup is good. Not a flashy passer per se, but Misamun can move the ball well and locate her open teammates. Well, we all know basketball is all about the three ball. That's what Christy Tolliver brings to your team. Just about a 40% career shooter from beyond the arc. Tolliver is a huge asset in today's game. Now here's Wright, just three to shoot. Back to Hartley for three. And again, it's the Liberty missing. Well, they're in the lead, but, but she's still been frustrated offensively. Inside, Della Don, good. And talking about Tolliver shooting, she put on a show during the 2016 playoffs. And Tolliver shot over 40% from three-point range for the Sparks in 2016. And with Candace Parker and Neko Kumike, they were all able to help L.A. win the championship as Tolliver helped spread the floor with her shooting. Bria Parkley at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw missing. She's good on the second. It's stolen. Here's Allen. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Left side, Charles. Pass to Hartley. Six to shoot. Back to Charles. Hartley, Deladon covering, ball's knocked loose, and here's Washington, they've only allowed five points in the quarter, right outside, 
to the paint. Here's Hartley. That shot off. Alina Della Don with a defensive effort. <gasps> the strokes looked a little shaky this quarter. Not much is hitting the target. A consistent scoring threat from the guard position. I think it's Atkins' style and finesse that always keeps defenders guessing. But when you enter the WNBA, there are usually some growing pains, unless you're Ariel Atkins, who made an immediate impact for Washington. She was taken seventh overall in the 2018 draft, and Atkins sure has hit the ground running. And the first one falls for her. And during that first season, Atkins played well beyond her years. Yeah, finally. You're right, Blake. Atkins was uh, all defensive her first year. Almost unheard of for a rookie. So strong as a starter in the finals, only Elena Deladon scored more for Mystics in the 2018 finals. That's also good, so she hits them both. Shooting 100% in the quarter there, just taking full advantage at the line. Very nice job making the most of their opportunities. Now here's Hartley. She's got five. <laughs> Alina Della Don with a defensive effort. Here's Walker Kimbrough. She's guarded by Wright. Walker Kimbrough misses. Well, they call them layups for a reason. It's uh, not easy to miss that close to the rim. Not much working for her as she moves to one for six in the quarter. Now here's Tolliver. Outside Atkins. Della Don. Pass to Tolliver. Outside Atkins. Here's Walker Kimbrough. Shoots over Hartley. Misses off the right iron. That's too good a look to pass up there, despite the result. Now right. Hartley. To the inside. Zowie B. And Carlos is going to pick up the foul. That is her first foul of the game. The Mystics on offense. Outside Tolliver. Pass to Walker Kimbrough. Back to Tolliver. The 15 footer. The shot, no good. And New York will come the other way. And here is Wright. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Here's Hartley. Yes! And it's Tanisha Wright picking up the assist. They'll take as many of those high percentage shots as they can make. Here's Walker Kimbrough. She's guarded by Wright. Here's Bisamon. Della Don. She hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. After having a tough time in the first, she's managed to turn it around here time in the out, second out. quarter. And the Liberty call time here. Well, 2014 was so disappointing for Della Don. Her season cut short because of Lyme disease. She came back strong in 2015, getting WNBA MVP honors with Chicago.
Jiu-Jitsu. Pass to Allen. Hartley. Elena Deladon with the rebound. And Washington has possession. Down low. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Down low, Deladon has the ability to score in droves. It's part of why she normally scores around 20 points, sometimes even more most nights. Pass to Hartley. Charles with it. Shoots over Deladon. New York, no good that time either. Oh. And it's good. Walk through the contact. Hit the shot. And he'll go to the line. I really think what separates Deladon from the rest of the pack is her incredible shooting abilities at 6'5". There she's got that high release that's so difficult to defend. Guys, she's not just a jump shooter. Della Dawn has all the shots in the book. I really love that about her game. She can shoot out of the spin move, fade away, float it. Incredible touch. Has been so close to a 50, 40, 90 season. Now here's Hartley. Nine points in the game. Yo, look out. The fade away. And yep, it's good. It's not just close in. Charles also flourishes in the mid-range. Unfair to stop. Pass to Hawkins. Nisim on with it. Della Don, Boyd covering. And here's Hawkins. And the shot goes in. They're working in closer to the bucket here in the second. Yeah, the threes weren't falling early, and sometimes seeing a few easier ones go in can renew that touch. Now here's Boyd. Hartley outside. Outside Charles. Boyd. They get a hand on it. Here's Sue. No good with the wing jumper. Well, if this ball game comes down to the rebounding battle, they'll be the ones coming out on top. They've had a strong game on that front, without question. Here's Deladon. He got it up in time, but it couldn't fall for it. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. The Mystics on top, leading by five. And don't go away, we'll be back momentarily. side jumping out ahead through the first two quarters. It's been a clinic out there by Della Don. It's amazing to watch. She spoils us with her performances game in, game out. And so far, another big scoring night for her. And oftentimes, when she puts up that many points in the first half, she follows it up with an even better second half. So we'll see if that happens again here. We 
have a close ball game on our hands as we get set for the second half to get underway. Outside Boyd. Pass to Charles. Shoots over Della Don. Charles with the bucket. You think you have good defense? You need great defense. Charles is just too good. The Mystics leading. Outside Tolliver. Here's Walker Kimbrough. Boyd covering. Now here's Atkins. Raises up. And she hits the jump shot. You are not going to hit that shot too often. Now here's Boyd. Pass to Charles. Here's how we be. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Liberty. Don. And pushing it up, here's Washington. And here they go. Bucket is good. Look, elite scorers like Della Don understand they won't be the ones scoring the ball every time. Nice job of keeping her teammates involved. Now here's Wright. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Out to the wing. Zowie B with it. Five on the clock. All right. Goes back up. It's good, and she threw the contact on the shot. So she'll go to the line. Three-point play opportunity. Oliver. Don't give her space. Don't give her space. Pass to Walker Kimbrough. Here's Misamon. Della Don with it. Covered by Zowie B. Della Don shots good. Nothing but money for him to start the half. They're three for three. Right outside. Allen. Defended by Atkins. Now here's Zowie B. to Charles. She scores her big field goal and she's taken nine shots to get there. Only one player in the history of the WNBA has made more two-point buckets than Tina Charles. Making hoops inside is her bread and butter. Everyone seems to be sleepwalking out on defense and it's been that way ever since I came out of the half. Outside Boyd. Outside Charles. She can't get that one. So the Mystics will take it the other way. Pass to Tolliver. The shot's good on the assist by Elena Deladon. Nice pass there to set up the bucket. And 10 of their last 12 points have come off assists. Outside Boyd. how we be. He's covered by Tolliver. Right outside. No good on the three. The Mystics on offense. They lead by eight. That's the biggest margin of the game. And there's a whistle on the shot. Took the foul. Shot misses.
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Deciding to change it up. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Pass for Kakakunwe. And here is Gray. Deladon covering. Got a piece of it. Now Boyd. He's covered by Cloud. Clock at four. Wing shot on the way. No good off the back of the rim. And that'll increase their rebound advantage. They've definitely been winning that battle today. And control the boards has given them control of this team. A force in the league from the get-go. Stella Don earned Rookie of the Year honors and never really looked back. She made the only free throw attempt she had earlier in the game. Shooting two. She makes the first. She hits both from the strike. Impeccable from the line since halftime. They've yet to miss, so yeah, you really can't do any better. And they could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Yeah, too many empty possessions. I mean, it's simple. They need points. And it's Tanisha Wright penetrating. Good. And this goes to Brittany Boyd. That is some dime dropping. Exquisite assist. Pass to Heinz Allen. Walker Kimbrough. And there's the whistle, illegal screen. Very close call there on the illegal screen. I go along with it. You know, to me, it didn't really look like a free percent. And here is Hartley. Nine points in the game. Right outside. Pass to Zowie B. over cloud that one a little long a real defensive lapse there she's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot they're lucky she didn't punish him there now here's cloud looking for her first basket still in this one elena della dawn on the wing clock at six let's it go from 11 and the jumper is good Seems like they found their offense at halftime, made some adjustments, because uh, they've shot much better since the break. Maybe it was changing baskets, or maybe the coach just kind of really riled them up in the halftime locker room speech. But guys, they have looked a lot better offensively. Dolgen passing to make that basket possible. Now here's Cloud, pass to Deladon. Now Sanders, over Gray. Here's Walker Kimbrough. Here's Sanders. She's guarded by Hartley. And here's Cloud. Nails the triple. Well, she sets up so many of her teammates. Nice to see Cloud being the one getting the pass. One item that stood out is their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking, and more importantly, it's tough to defend. They get the rebound, so the whistle blows on the shot. Two free throws for the contact there. Well, 
The defense looking to protect the rim at all costs there. Something you struggled with in your career, Tim, but definitely saved the layup with that foul. He's going to have to earn him at the line. And the first one at the line is good. And so she hits both. the ball. Pass to Cloud. Shot clock at six. Hawkins outside. Goes up at the stripe. The rebound by the Liberty. A second round pick in the 2015 WNBA draft. Rashonda Gray has been a bit of an underdog in this league. She's been getting better each season, though, and I think that she could become a premier talent pretty soon. Now here's Wright. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. With the success they've had in rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, and that's firmly in the driver's seat. Rebounding, it's an effort stat. Uh, they've been the more determined team to this point. And with Grace looking into the first round back in 2015, Brian, would that give you any added motivation to succeed in the pros? Definitely, Blake. For Gray, she's got to have that same mindset. Believe in yourself and show the world what you can do. I believe in her dedication towards being a star in this league. It hasn't been a very good day for her, guys, and her team really needs her, desperately needs her to start burying those shots. Now here's Hartley. 11 points in the game. Pass to Sue. Hines Allen pulls it in. Here's Hawkins. Banked in off the glass. After uh, leaning on the three-point shot in the first half, they're starting to get away from it here in the second. More of their shots are coming from inside. Now here's Hartley. Right outside. It's stolen by Natasha Cloud. Christy Tolliver for three. Mystics rebound. It's good. They need to get way more disruptive defensively. They just can't keep allowing these easy buckets. You know, get a little physical. Show some effort. Defensively, that's job number one. Effort, nothing easy inside. Timeout called to Liberty. Well, the coach needs to get him back into a flow offensively. Things have slowed down. And they're starting kind of to, to force their shots. Yeah, things have snowballed on them here. You know, the misses just started piling up. I like this timeout to sort of calm down the team and get reset. Challenging stretch for New York here. Outside Charles. Pass to Gray. Sue. Now Hartley. Now here's Charles. Good. And the assist goes to Bria Hartley. Piling up the buckets. 
post moves, three pointers, jumpers. You know, Charles can score in so many different ways, it's so hard to stop. Now, here's Tolliver. Changes up, and she takes it up and lays it in. A big lead for them, both on the scoreboard and the rebounding call. Well, rebounding has been a big key, asserting their will, and they've taken control. Here's Allen. Wyatt so far offensively, searching for her first points of the game. And she was fouled on the way up. Two free throws for her. Christy Tolliver picks one up. And one from your New York Liberty, Bria Parkley. Two shots. in from the charity stripe this half. Not one miss. And trying to cut into this lead, they need every edge they can get. That one falls, so she hits both of them. Digits, it may be difficult to overcome. Mystics ahead, up by 15. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get set for the fourth quarter. Welcome back as the fourth quarter is right ahead. Not exactly a close contest here. Here's Cloud. The shot misses. Great D that time from Tina Charles. Well, thus far they managed to overcome an off game from her offensively. Now Boyd, back to Hartley. Sue, Misama uncovering, just five on the clock. Outside Charles, here's Allen. That shot missing, so the Mystics will take it the other way. Pass to Tolliver. the glass to finish the layup. Well, after she had a tough first half, it's been a different story since the break. Here's Boyd. Charles with it. She's covered by Tolliver. Count the basket. You have to close out on Charles. When she's in rhythm off the pass, watch out. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone now. With it. She's picked up by Charles. Six on the shot clock. Hawkins outside. Oliver. That three off the mark. Even with the decent coverage that time, she has every bit of confidence to drill that three. Absolutely. Just keep shooting. I wouldn't bet against her the next time she's in that situation. Now here's Hartley. To the middle. And a foul called on the shot. Got her on the way up that time, so she'll shoot two. But when you have her on your team, you feed her in the post. Charles is too much to handle. Tina Charles taking two shots. That one's off. What a year she had back in 2012. Charles was the WNBA MVP.
going for 18 and 10. But also defensively, she was second in the league in block, showing her dominance on both sides. He hits the second from the line. Well, one of their problems in the first half was their shoddy work at the free throw line. They needed to fix that, and they've been much better since halftime. Pass to Walker Kimbrough. Up top, Miesemann. Here's Walker Kimbrough. Amanda Zawidi with the block. And the basket by Deladon. Here is Hartley. Pass to Allen. Charles. Now here's Boyd. And again, it's the Liberty missing. Here's Walker Kimbrough. Misamon, covered by Zowie B. Outside, Tolliver. From about 10 feet out. And so she earns a trip to the line. Uh, officials saw the contact. And she'll shoot two. Okay, it's going to be on Amanda Zowie B. Well, while most uh, in the U.S. start their professional careers at 21, 22 years old, Europeans like Emma Misemann start much younger. Her first season as a pro was just uh, when she was 16 years old in the native two. Belgium. She can't get the first one. And Emma was so strong at a young age. In 2011, named the World Young Player of the Year. It's so impressive what she's done. Misa Mann has played on multiple championship teams for clubs in Europe. And in the WNBA, guys, she's made a great adjustment to the American game as well. And the second free throw, good. And so it's New York with it. Trailing by 17. Pass to Zowie B. Hartley. To the inside. Charles. That counts. He's put up 13 shots and now has made eight of them. She's enjoyed a very good day shooting the ball so far. She can bring them back into this. To the paint. Deladon, chuck up two right there. Yeah, she's played an important role in her offense today, and really without her, they might not have the lead right now. Here's Boyd. Here's Zowie B, and count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the line. Good look. That is a good look. And she'll make that one most of the time. Liberty making a switch here. This is what they need to do in the second half to come out with the win. It's not the only thing, but when you convert at the other end, you pressure a team to play solid defense against you. Now here's Tolliver. Pass to Atkins. Five to shoot. The putback. It's good on the putback. A monster on the glass. Misamon is not afraid of anyone. Here's Allen. She's covered by Tolliver. It's Tanisha Wright on the wing. Tipped. It's stolen by Elena Deladon. Pass to Tolliver. Here's Walker Kimbrough. Misamon. Elena Deladon on the wing. Shot clock at six. The shot, no good. And it's the Liberty taking it the other way. 
And here's Charles. Right, defended by Atkins. Left side, Boyd. Foul call that time on the way up, and that'll give her two chances at the free throw line. Drafted ninth overall in the 2015 WNBA draft, Boyd went on to lead all rookies in steals per game. First one falls for her. That misses, so she splits the free throws. And guys, thinking of small markets versus big markets, uh, how does that impact WNBA franchises? Like, I think all-star players want to play in big markets where the, where the lights are brighter and the, the situations are more high profile. Time out, time I think out. the idea of playing in New York or Los Angeles might be more attractive to a big-time player than you know, Phoenix, for example. Yeah, and exposure is certainly a big part of it, uh, especially as an increasing number of players want to maximize their brands during their playing careers. But small markets can still succeed. You know, you mentioned Phoenix, Tim. They just won a WNBA championship not too long ago. Well, the start of Kristen Tolliver's career didn't really go as planned. After Chicago took her third overall in 2009, Tolliver was traded before her second season. She didn't really start much for the first three years in the league, but 2012 is when things start to turn around for her. Really, it's one of the same thing, and I never want to be famous. Sign up, I'll be great. Sign up, I want to be. I want to be famous. 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 And now let's present our Jordan player of the game, Elena Deladon. Just operating at a higher level than anyone else on the floor. You have to appreciate her commitment to excellence. Terrific talent, and she puts in the work. And with the playoffs right around the corner, she understands the importance of staying in tip-top shape. And the Liberty with possession here. 17-point game. Yeah, in 2012, Tolliver was named most improved player, having a huge season. Uh, she was just outstanding, averaging over 17 per game with the Spark. She finished top five in the league in assists, three-point shooting, three-pointers made. Since that season, Tolliver has established herself as a top shooter and passer in the WNBA. Zowie B shot is off. And Washington has possession. Oliver with the ball. Shoots it. The rebound by Zowie B. And they've been looking at a sink offensively. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Offensive board. And that one good. The defenders didn't really even get a sniff of her on that move to the iron. Pass to Atkins. Hey, up, Don. From the high post. The rebound by Zowie B. Well, she's a player who, with a wide open look, will rarely miss. Now here's Boyd. She's covered by Tolliver. Here's Allen. Here's Zowie B. Left side, Charles. Just two to shoot. From the line. And the rebound goes to the Mystics. Here's Walker Kimbrough. Pass to Tolliver. Atkins with it. Deladon outside. Yeah. 
Now Misaman. Good work there as it goes. A phenomenal pick and pop player. Misaman is masterful at setting screens and finding holes in the defense. Now here's Wright. Now here's Zoe B. Up top, Boyd. Deladon covering. Pass to Charles. And they double up Tina Charles. And Boyd. But they recover it. Multiple possessions have been the story of the game. And even with the big lead, this team continues to be quicker to the basketball. And right. Misses the tray. Here's Walker Kimbrough. Draws the foul and will shoot two. Second person foul. Shooting for the Mystics. Two shots. Shooting two. So she gets them both. Now Hartley. Pass to right. Hartley. And here is Zowie B. Right outside. Four on the clock. Tries it from the top of the key. And Tina Charles is going to pick up the foul. Tina that is her third foul so far. Here's Leslie. Pass to Hawkins. Unloads from 13 feet. No luck on that one. And it's the Liberty taking it the other way. Here's Hartley. Rebounded by the Mystics. Everyone and their kids have social media accounts, and they're mixed feeling on the effects of it. Do you see this as a good thing for players, Brian? Well, for promotion, interaction, and building a brand, I think it's great because it allows the players to have fun exchanges with their fans. And so I think it's been fantastic in terms of allowing the general public into the lives of these stars. I think it's been great for the fans to see the real personality of these players beyond the court. The only issue is, as NBA Commission Adam Silver pointed out, is sometimes athletes can dive too deep into it. It's an awesome tool as long as it's used correctly. Pass to Mess Dog. Now here's Miesemann. She's guarded by Hartley. Four on the shot clock. Puts up the tray. And Ring Kakakunwe pulls it down. Here's Johannes. To end the drought. So it's the Mystics winning this one easily. And this one was all over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, but they never got it. Yeah, I mean, they rolled to this one. They made it look simple and efficient performance at both the offensive and defensive ends. And that'll wrap it up.